It's a new week in the Crew Motorfest, and so we have a new summit, and it's a new month, so we have a new theme, and this one is the Black Panther Tag Team Stereo Online Summit Week. Let's go. All right, real quick, before we get into it, huge shout out to Simji. Thank you so much for all the help in this week's summit. Helped me out a lot with the lines and the cuts on this particular one. So please go follow his channel. There's a link in the description down below. Let's get into it. The cars that you're going to get with this week's Summit Bundle are the Nissan Z. It's a 2023 model streetcar and the Nissan 350Z Roadster, a 2004 edition. And it has also a streetcar. That car is terrible. The Z is fine. The 350Z Roadster is just god awful, but uh, we only have to do it for one race. So yippee. All right. The additional vehicles you need are the GTR Haru Edition or the High Octane Edition or the Kamea Hadar Edition S2K or the regular R34 GTR. So whichever one of those you actually have, use them in that order is my preferred order, but I know people like the high octane edition a little bit more than the others. I just prefer the Haro edition. It just handles like I expect it to. Anyways, all four of those cars will do, and they're gonna be for the majority of the races for this summit. Now, in addition to that, you're gonna need a slalom car slash bullseye car with Scorebreaker, Skilled, and Pure on your parts. And you can use the same car for the Slalom and the Bullseye. And then you're gonna need a drag car for your Speed Trap. And for that one, you're gonna want Nitro Chemist and Pure with Frenetic. Remember, you don't want extra pump. You only get one shot for the drag cars and that's a speed trap. All right, the keys to this summit are definitely the parts and the shortcuts. These are basically all street races and there's cuts everywhere. There's corner cuts, there's curb hops, there's resets, there's all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna need to make sure you pay attention to all the cuts. All right, here are the pro settings for all the vehicles that I just mentioned, aside from the ones that I don't have. All right, the first event is called Stereo Online Meet and Greets. And for this one, I'm using the Haru Edition. You use the car that you have in stock. This one requires a couple of things, controlled braking, corner cuts, and NOS management. Here is my second lap for your reference. Enjoy. The next event is called Stereo Online Universe, and for this one I'm using the Haru Edition as well. And once again, we have another lapped race where you need to take a few cuts. One small tip for you manual users is if you shift up into a higher gear while going over curbs, it tends to settle the car down, and then you can shift back down when you accelerate out of the turn. Anyways, the reset point on this is also a little bit tricky. You want to reset in front of the checkpoint, not behind it. Alright, here is my full second lap. Enjoy.
All right, the next event is called Stereo Online versus Black Panther. And for this one, you're using the 370Z Roadster. At 7%, you're gonna cut to the left, then go straight towards the next checkpoint and reset right when you get there. Now on the following S turns up this hill, you're gonna wanna gutter as much as possible. It's extremely important, especially considering this car has absolute garbage handling. It understeers everything, so you need basically every gutter going up the hill. Then at 63%, you're going to go straight towards this checkpoint and across the grass. Just make sure you're aiming for the left of the following checkpoint as the road sort of bends to the left after you get out of the grass. And that's pretty much it. Just like I said, make sure you hit those gutters and you're home free. The next event is called the Black Panther Meet and Greet. And this one is just like the last. It is a lapped race. So I'll let my full first lap play out for you to see the lines and cuts that I took. Enjoy. All right, the next event is called the Black Panther Universe, and for this one, I'm using the Haru Edition. This one is yet another lapped race, so I'm gonna show you my full second lap so you can reference all of the cuts. There are a few where I intentionally use breakable objects to slow my car down before the turn. I think you will easily notice those though, so enjoy. And the last event is called Black Panther vs. Stereo Online using the Nissan Z. This one has some tricky cuts and a reset as well. Also, the wall tap that I do is intentional thanks to Simji. It helps you slow down for this turn, but you don't really have to use the brakes all that much. Anyways, here's the full third lap for your reference. Enjoy.
right, let's talk about the feats. First up is the Bullseye. For this one, I'm using an AGP car for my Bullseye. I've got Scorebreaker with Skilled and Pure, and you really just need to go backwards on this one. It's a little bit more technical, but it seems to reward a few more points if you're going in the opposite direction. The Bullseyes are all over the place, so enjoy this one while you can. All right, next we can talk about the Slalom, and this one is also a backwards situation. So when you spawn in, go around, get some speed, head up onto the roof and you're good to go. Again, for this one, I'm using the AGP car and it has score breaker with skilled and pure as well. Now for the speed trap, you guessed it, you need to go backwards. It's much better coming down the hill and for the drag cars, you can actually get full speed. So just go to the end of the green circle on your mini map and start from there. You can make that corner in a drag car and keep in mind, you guys can always use rewind if you hit a car. That way you don't have to drive all the way back around because it is a pain to turn around in those drag cars. All right. Here are my final scores. Make sure you're DMing me with any questions that you might have. I do answer every single message that comes my way. It might not be instantly. It might be a day or even sometimes two days, depending on how busy I am. But I do read and answer every single DM still. This is something I've been doing since about 2000 subs. So I appreciate everyone's support on the channel. And uh, I'm going to do this as long as I possibly can. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this thing helps and I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.